It's flying prime time. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Optimus Prime looking all Optimus Primey with his wings. Optimus Prime from Transformers Dark of the Moon Transformers on this side of the box. We have Prime on the other side of the box. We have Prime. He is a leader class, a class, a leader, and a class, a leader. Up top, Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Hi. On the bottom here, you have words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. This, that, the other, things and stuff, stuff and things. You have a one-sentence bio. If you want to read that in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have leader class Optimus Prime, who is a recolor, slight remold of the previous studio series of Voyager class Optimus Prime. And this time around, he comes with his trailer as he did in Dark of the Moon. So here's Prime in his alt mode. I think it looks pretty nice in my opinion. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Got that nice silver paint right up front there. And he does now have the accurate, the more accurate paint scheme here on the front of the truck, which looks quite, quite nice. Uh, you got the windshield and windows painted silver this time around. And that flamey goodness going on. Silver for the smokestacks. Silver rims. And here we have the trailer itself. This section here with the Autobot symbol molded in. And the stripe going down the side. The back wheels. Unfortunately, the back wheels don't have any of the silver paint on the rims. Mm, that sucks, but <laughs> it sucks because it doesn't match. They should have painted these rims too, but ah, uh, well. It is what it is. Little Autobot symbol right there. And there is the back. And there is the top. There is the bottom. You can see some of his weapons. Stored under there, it rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. Uh, one note on the trailer as far as the rolling goes. Uh, these wheels don't roll. These wheels are molded in place. It's only the back wheels that roll. It's only those wheels roll, but these do not. And also the cab itself can rotate from side to side, so Prime can make some nice sharp turns. So, there you go. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, previous Studio Series Prime. Here he is with the first Studio Series Prime. And here he is with Bumblebee Movie Prime. Now as far as the trailer itself goes, um, it can attach to your other versions of Studio Series Prime. Can attach to the previous one because the part that matters is the exact same mold, so that works out if you wanted to. Uh, the first one, obviously, that fits as well because again, the part that matters is the exact same mold, so you can do that if you wish. Also, um, as far as Bumblebee Movie Prime, um, unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to work. It seems like the peg is just a little too big and just will not fit no matter what. I do, that just doesn't quite seem to work. And anyway, it seems like this cab is just a little too big for this trailer anyway, so it doesn't really look that good anyway. But hey, still things you can do if you want to do them. And in case anybody is wondering, and I'm sure somebody is, um, no, you cannot fit any other figures in the trailer because all that real estate in there is occupied. So no, there's no uh, putting other figures in the trailer. But. There you go, and that is pretty much it for the truck mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, that could have gotten dangerous. So let's remove the trailer. We'll save that for later, and let's just transform the base figure itself. And to do that, where are we going to start? Let's start. Let's begin at the beginning. Let's just start with these sections here. Just untab this. Bring these out. Untab. Bring that out. 
and just raise this whole section up bring all of this up get that out of the way take these wheels and just bring these down and back get these out of the way and then we can undo the front grill here and split it down the middle this one does hold together quite securely this holds together better than any other version of the mold there we go open that up like so and so we can pull this whole front section forward bring that down and we're going to take these sections here bring them back bring them back we can take these sections here and swing them forward and tap them into the side view mirrors like so we can then bring his head around like so and we can just bring those sections in right there bring these sections back and they will meet in the middle bring these bits up bring his waist down rotate it 180 let me raise up a little bit so i have some more room to operate Alrighty. so we'll just finish up the legs right now and just bring these wheels up bring these wheels up split rotate section down they have a leg all done second fast just like the first just bring that up bring that up swing this around and voila legs are all done so now we will get done with the arms here we'll just swing these out and then swing all this around like so bring this to the back this will tab in right here like that and we can just bring that down against his back bring the shoulder piece down bring this section out and rotate it with about his fist take this and just wrap it around the forearm and there you have an arm all done second fast just like the fast bring it out swing it around tab it in bring it back down out and around bring the fist up rotates and there we go so now we will finish up with the backpack this panel right here just tabs in to the grill this will come up tab in right up there take these sections rotate them around bring them flush against his back rotate flush against the back and there you go there you have prime in his robot mode and just like the previous version of this mold, I think it works. Works for me anyway. I quite like it. Now let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Again, nice movie primey head sculpt going on there. Nice silver on the face. And we get the chest windshield done in silver. He has a new belly piece here with that picked out in silver so he has his robo abs his dark of the moon robo abs get some silver on the forearms i don't know some nice detailing going on he has a big old feet and move up the back good everything we've seen before but still worth showing off and articulation wise the head is on a ball joint you get a little bit of wiggly waggly he can look up a bit look down head can do a full 360 arms can do a full 360 can move in and out as you can see the shoulder pads will move out of the way bicep rotation slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow wrist rotation waist rotation legs can move forward that far back only about that far before all these wheels kind of get in the way you kind of move the wheels out of the way you get a little bit extra but not much you get thigh rotation which again this wheel kind of gets in the way but if you move it out of the way you get that thigh rotation knees you get over 90 degrees of bend there you get a nice deep knee bend little knee pads here 
You can angle them however you want, and the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you have the ankle tiltage. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Bumblebee Movie Prime. Here he is with the first Studio Series Prime. And here he is with the previous iteration of this mold. As you can see, it's the exact same toy. The only difference is just his abs and the painted windshield on his chest. Otherwise, same toy. And if you want to, you can combine this Prime with Jetfire now. If you remember when I reviewed Jetfire, Jetfire comes with this extra belly piece here. And this is for this Prime because you have to remove this belly piece and replace it with the one that came with Jetfire. So now he can fully combine with Prime there. And it's kind of a darker shade of red there, but uh, whatever, it is what it is. But now he can fully combine with Jetfire. And there you have Dark of the Moon Prime combined with Jetfire. Looks pretty much the same, but hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So now let's talk about the new stuff. Let's talk about the trailer and get down to transforming this. So to begin, I need to raise up a little bit. So to begin, we are just going to remove these guns from the bottom. And these will just put off to the side for now. Just wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. And just put those off to the side. And once we've done that, we can come back here and open this up take this section here and just bring that back and you can see there are little little notches there for these sections to go into once we've done that we can just untab all of this on either side untab untab on top, on top, on top, on top. Uh, once you do all that, we can raise all of this up. You kind of want to clear the shield because the shield kind of goes inside these sections here. So you kind of want to kind of open that up a bit before. Eh, it's probably going to pop it out anyway, but there you go. <laughs> but you just pop off this section here. That is the flight tech. We'll put that off to the side. And just to show you before we so rudely popped out. That's where the shield stores. You can see his sword stored in there, his axe stored in there. You can store his gun right in there also. Everything can store in the trailer if you want. So let's just remove the shield. I'll remove the sword. We'll remove the axe. And put that off to the side. Oh, and also remove the, uh, the gun. Wiggle waggle. And there we go. So now we are left with the bear trailer here. So now we can just untab these sections from either side here. That came undone on its own. Thank you very much. And we can bring the section with the wheels down. That will snap into place. And there we have the base here of the platform. And we'll just raise up. You want to unpeg these armatures here and unpeg that. And that will allow all this to just kind of bow out like so. And what's going to happen here is you're going to take these sections here and swing them in. And there are multiple points here where it will tab into place. See a little tab and a little notch right there. So just line those up and line that up and line that up. And one more, line that up. And just do the same thing on the other side. Just line it up, line it up, line that up, and line it up. And that will keep all that in place, like so. And there you basically have Prime's little battle platform. Which is pretty cool. It works. Works for me anyway. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And if you want, we can take Prime. You have to put his legs like all the way together and you can kind of you know, stand him in there if you want to. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And you can store his weapons, his accoutrement in here. You can take the shield and 
just plug it right in there. You can take the axe and that can just tab on right there. You can take the sword and that will tab on right here. It goes into this little opening right here in the sword. And you can tab that in right there like that. You can even take this gun here and you can plug that in like so. And you can take the guns here from the flight tech and these can peg in right there like that. You can have all the weapons stored there in the battle platform. So now let's bring in the rest of the trailer here and this becomes his little wing pack here and to transform this we just untab these sections here untab that and these will come out to the side this will just fold down you take this panel here and this will fold up and tab right there and you take these sections and these just swing around tab in swing around tab in then you take this little bit here, flip that up, and there you have Prime's jetpack right there. It does have some nice detail. No paint, unfortunately, but it does have some pretty nice detail going on. Now, I don't know if you can actually store this on the uh, platform here. I don't know. This is probably one of those hidden features that everybody else knows about but I don't because that always seems to be the case I don't know if this actually I haven't seen anywhere that this can like tab onto or anything so I don't know if you can in fact store this on here somewhere I don't know it's not in the instructions I don't know probably can again probably everybody else knows about it and I don't that seems to always be the case but hey, it's there but let's bring in Prime and give him his flight tech here. And all you're gonna do, we have to do a little bit of prep work here for Prime first. We do have to take his backpack here and just kind of take these sections and swing them around like so. Take this section, bring it down, flatten it out, and flatten these sections out like that. And he is ready to go. So you're just gonna take this, it's just gonna come over his shoulders and this will come down over these sections right here where those notches are. So just bring that down. And it wants to fight me now. Of course it wants to fight me, because the camera's on. That's why. There we go. There we go. Just bring that down. Like so. You can see it just kind of sits in those little grooves in there. And then you take these sections here, and they will tab on right there to further lock that in place. Boom. Like that. And there he is with the wing pack on, and we have to give him his weapons. As far as the weapons go, let's run through the weapons real quick. He does have his axe, which unfortunately has no paint on it. Nicely detailed, but no paints. And of course, he does have the sword. Sword. <laughs> My tongue stops working. And you give him the sword like that if you want to. Give him an axe, so you can have that going on. All things you can do if you want to do it. Of course, you can give him his regular gun here that you can hold. And you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. You can do all of that. He does have the shield as well. And uh, it doesn't seem like there's really any elegant way for him to hold the shield. It does seem like you just like peg it onto his hand and that's pretty much what you do with it. And it's kind of small, too. It should be a lot bigger than that, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. But there is his shield. But we can give him the guns that go with his flight tech here. As you can see, they are actually very nicely detailed. No paints, unfortunately, but they are nicely detailed. And these can plug into his hands. Like so, and like so, and there you go. And now he's coming for you! There you go. There is Prime with his wing pack on. 
And that does look pretty cool. I mean, it does suck that we have these big hollow bits just kind of staring you in the face. That, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Wish that could have been filled in. That doesn't look too good. Maybe a, th maybe a third party company will make like a little filler kit for these bits here. Just kind of fill that out some. Well, no, not too bad. You can position the wings how you want. They're on the hinge here, so you can bring them out. They can also rotate at this hinge here. So you can do that if you want to. These section of the wings are on a hinge. I can also fold back, so you can kind of fold this up, make it a little bit more compact if you want to. So, hey, you got a little bit of options there as far as posability with the jetpack goes. And just for a quick comparison, here is Studio Series Dark of the Moon Prime with the original Leader Class Dark of the Moon Prime with the Fans Wanted Jetpack Kit on it. So, there you go! And like with all Studio Series figures, he does come with the included backdrop, which is in the box. And back here you have the Cityscape there with Shockwave's Death Worm. Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Number 44, Transformers, bloody, bloody, bloody. And we can take Prime and just stand him right here. Those wings kind of get in the way, kind of. You might have to just kind of bring his wings in for this. There you go. That works out so much better. But there you go. As always, nice little display if you want to take advantage of it. So there you have Studio Series Leader Prime. Um, definitely room for improvement. Definitely room for improvement. Um, you know, my biggest complaints are just that I wish there was some more paint. Some more paint on the trailer, some more paint on the weapons. Definitely wish that the uh, jetpack didn't have these big hollow bits just staring you right in the face. I usually don't complain about hollow parts, but when it's just staring you right in the face, that's that's when I, you know, that, that that's when it bugs me. I do like that since this is the same mold as the previous Studio Series Prime, you can combine this with Jetfire also. So you do get that added playability with this set. So you do get some extra bang for your buck there in the playability department. Everything does work as it should. Everything comes together solidly, so no complaints there. So while there is definitely some room for improvement here, not perfect, it still is a fun set to mess with. I have actually been enjoying messing with this quite a bit. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also, a link in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers the Studio Series Leader Class Optimus Prime. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Hey, Bumblebee, don't touch that. What are you doing? No, that's mine. You can't use it. Because I'm the leader and I always get the cool stuff. That's why. No, you can't even borrow it for a minute. Because I'm the leader. How many times do I have to say this? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. I heard that.